So I got my dream espresso machine, which I got because, you know, COVID. And my brand new niche grinder. So this is like my this was like my dream setup. And I finally got them all together after about two months of waiting. And so yeah, now I'm just gonna try to dial it all in and see see how it looks, see how it works. I've used it last night just to season the burrs. I haven't really dialed in much. Um, I don't know if that, uh, I mean, I think it's pretty close, but we'll see. So yeah, this is a brand new setup here. My first impression of the niche is that it's actually kind of smaller than I thought, and it's actually lighter than I thought. And I, I was kind of like, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, it feels really nice. It's just this plastic is a little, a little too plasticky, but everything else about it is, you know, just rock solid. I mean, I don't know. I was kind of like, some things I thought it would be bigger and some things I thought would be smaller. I almost wish the hopper right here, it's a single dose hopper. It's only designed for single dosing. Um, and they call it the niche because it doesn't, re it doesn't retain any grounds. Um, but I kind of wish this was just a little bit larger, like make this hold, you know, make, make it hold 60 grams, you know, right now I can probably hold 30 in there maybe. Um, but if it could, if it could be, you know, just twice the size, I think that'd be perfect. And it's really simple. There's really a magnet right here. And it has these, like, uh, I think they're called Nazer Coney, I think, burrs, which are like really nice like industrial burrs. It's kind of funny having like industrial burrs in a small grinder, but I guess, yeah, that's what makes this thing really worth it, is that it can re it can not retain any grinds, so you can single dose, you can reduce bean waste. It's small, it's relatively affordable. I think I paid 700 for it. And yeah, you get a lot of the benefits of a lot more expensive grinder. So yeah, and this is the DE1 Plus, uh, I think. Pro or no, yeah, I think this was a pro. So the pro means it's just a little bit nicer. It has better, a little better components. And yeah, you got a cool tablet on here so you can, you can mess around and. All right, 19 grams in. So you can see how 19 grams fills up quite a lot. I mean, you see express funnel here. So I'm, I'm gonna go right to the cup. Ooh, look at that. I mean, that's pretty darn fluffy. Can you see that? Can you see, look at that, that's fluffy. There you go. I'm just kind of giving it out. Not doing a whole lot here. I don't want to make more channels. For here. Let's see. I actually ordered a decent tamper set, so um, that would be a lot better tamping. Make sure it's nice and even. We're here just, we're, tr we're trying to dial in the grinder, so let's see how it looks. You know? I got these little cups on Amazon. I'll put the link below if you want to be cool. They're like five bucks dial here. So if everything goes well, it'll look really good. So wish me luck here. You could probably see it down here. Yes. Yes. Two months of waiting. Oh. Oh, it actually looks pretty darn good. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Maybe a little too fine. I don't know. That looks pretty darn good. I mean, that's pretty spot on. Maybe I got lucky after two failed attempts last night. I mean, that's pretty much perfect. That cup have the same, you have the same cup as this? On Amazon, right? Oh, uh, yeah. 
I know these are fresh beans. This is the best espresso I've ever made. Because I have a good grinder, I can have a consistent extraction. Um, yeah, this, you know, normally my espresso is either over or under extracted. This is a lot closer to being in the middle. Uh, let me see my graph here. The cool part about this machine is we can see our graphs. Oh, oh, I'm spilling water everywhere. This is how you refill it. It's like a porcelain. I don't really, I don't know if I like this tank. It's kind of hard because if you move the machine at all, it sloshes, it doesn't have a cover. It's porcelain, so you can put it in the dishwasher. However, it's, um, it's kind of heavy, it's kind of fragile. Um, I would like to see like a tank like on the back of the machine that you could remove, kind of like the Barista Express. Um, it could still be porcelain. But having sliding this in and out is kind of annoying, and it's like you really, it's not, maybe I have to get used to it, but. So you have to lift up the straw back here, then you can slowly slide it back. And then you'll see these things. And the machine, I've been really getting messy. But yeah, the drip tray is very similar. I, I don't like the drip tray. I think the drip tray, I think this machine, I don't know, for $2,700, the drip tray cover is kind of cheap. It moves a lot. Do you guys experience that? If you have a decent machine, let me know. It just seems like the whole thing kind of does this a lot. If I'm making espresso, it, it's really, I don't know. I think everything. Yeah, this little mirror gets really messy too. No one tells you this stuff. It kind of, it's kind of designed like a Slayer mirror. You know, the Vichy, those really nice Slayer machines that have these little mirrors. I love that because I can look at the group head right here. I can look directly at it. From this angle i don't have to i don't have to do one of these moves like oh <laughs> like a hole can you see that there's a little dot right here 19 grams in 21 and a half pretty cool i mean i think i want to get something like matching like matching like these are ebony handles if i could match it to the niche's wood that would be really cool. So if you guys know anyone that makes portafilter handles, a lot could go wrong. But this setup here, I should be able to emulate anything with this setup. So I think everything all together